Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create animated pyramid puzzle graphic in PowerPoint. The beautiful animated pyramid puzzle graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. First, all you see is four pieces that work together. And then on a click, we unravel each of the pieces and give the explanation. On the second click, I have the second piece revealed, third piece, and the fourth piece. So this is a simple yet highly useful graphic to create in any business presentation. Let us see how to create this useful graphic from scratch by going to a new slide. Here I am on a new slide, and the first thing I'm going to do is to create this pyramid. Now, I don't have to worry too much about building that pyramid from scratch. I just can go to Insert, go to Smart Art option, and I can go to the pyramid option here. And here I have segmented pyramid readily available for me to work with. So I'm going to say OK. And now we have a beautiful segmented pyramid graphic ready. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on the bounding box so that I can select the smart art graphic. Go to the design tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Go to convert option and go to convert to shapes. Now this is converted into a group of auto shapes. If you don't like the way in which the orientation is, you can always reduce the height like so. So it looks more like a proper isosceles triangle. Then I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup. And now we have the basic graphic in place. Now I'm going to select the centerpiece and give it a different color so that it's much easier for us to recognize this from the rest of them. And then I'm going to select all the pieces Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline first. Then I'm going to make this centerpiece into a puzzle piece. For that, all I need to do is to go to the Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the Oval tool, and then draw a perfect circle. And this is going to be placed right at the center. And then I'm going to hold the Control button down as I click and drag this to its new position. And then I'm going to hold the Control button again as I click and draw it to another position. Now we have three of these circles that are placed along three edges of the triangle. Now I'm going to select the centerpiece, then hold the shift button down as I select all these circles, then go to the format tab, go to merge shapes and say shape union. Now I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to right click and send to back. Now it looks like four different pieces of puzzle put together. Now I'm going to select all the pieces, give it a common color by going to this option here. So this is the common color and then go to shape outline, choose white outline and maybe I can increase the weight of the outline to something like this, like say four and a half points. And now we have got our puzzle graphic in place. The next thing we need to do is to add labels for each of the pieces. I'm not going to bore you by teaching how to create these labels. All I did is to use a simple text box tool from Auto Shapes Gallery to create this. So I'm going to select these elements and then I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy them and right click and paste so that I can save some time. I'm just going to adjust the positioning of each of these labels so that it looks more professional. There we are done. Now, the next step is to add custom animation to this graphic to bring it alive. For that, I'm going to select the first piece here, hold the shift button down as I select the second piece, third piece, and the center piece. Then, I'm going to add a custom animation that will allow it to change color on a click. So let us go to the Animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon, expand this drop-down menu. Under Emphasis, I'm going to click on the Object Color and here you can see on a click, the object changes to a uniform color, which is orange. And this effect needs to happen on click. So I'm going to say start on click. So each of these animations is going to happen on a click. Now let me click on the animation pane here so that you can clearly follow what I'm doing here. The next thing I'm going to do is to vary the color to which each of these pieces transform. First, I'm going to select this piece here and instead of the orange color, I'm going to choose this yellow color. Then I'm going to select the second piece here and instead of the orange, I'm going to choose this green color. And for the third piece, I'm going to give maybe 
this blue color and then for the fourth piece I am going to give it black color. So that is how the transformation is going to be. And as soon as the color changes, I want the relevant explanation to come. So I'm going to select one, two, three, and four, the four labels. And I'm going to add a simple entrance animation. And the animation I'm going to use is fade animation. And this is going to be after previous. Now I need to change the ordering of these animation events so that right after this piece changes its color, its corresponding label appears. So I'm going to move this fade animation for this label to come right after the color change. The same way the second label comes after the second color change, third label after third color change and the fourth label after the fourth color change. Beautiful. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how the animation plays. On a click the first one changes its color and the label is shown then the second piece and the label, third piece and the label, and the fourth piece and the label. So that is how you create a simple pyramid puzzle graphic and it can be used in a number of situations. When you want to talk about four different units working together, or if you want to talk about four parts of a strategy, or if you want to talk about four parts of a puzzle, you can use this graphic. I want to show you some creative variations of puzzle graphic taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. In case you don't know already, comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is a collection of more than 4020 premium PowerPoint templates taken from our top selling packs. The first example of a puzzle graphic taken from this bundle is this one. As you can see, this is a different looking pyramid puzzle graphic. As you can see here, there are three pieces that come together and there is a shiny look to this graphic. Another example is this one where we have a different kind of a pyramid puzzle. As you can see, we have a three-dimensional version of the same graphic that I taught you and you can talk about each of the elements like this. Another example is three parts puzzle graphic but this time we want to add an interesting custom animation to bring each part of the puzzle like this. As you can see, the first part is shown here, then we talk about the second part, then finally we talk about the third part. These kind of subtle animations ensure that your audience pays attention to your slides completely. Another example is this one where we talk about six parts puzzle. First, we talk about the first piece and then the corresponding explanation here, the second piece and the explanation, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. If you want this to be a bit more organic, you can use something like this where we have a hand-drawn treatment given to the same puzzle graphic. Sometimes you may want to add more puzzle pieces and you want your audience to pay attention to individual points, then you can use an interesting graphic like this. First, the viewer's attention is here, then we bring the viewer's attention to the second point and you give your explanation. The third point, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and tenth. It's an interesting way to keep your viewer's attention throughout the ten points that you mention. And the best part is, all these are already available as ready-made templates in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. I will leave a link to this useful bundle in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and find more details about this product. And finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You will be the first one to know if we introduce any new product. You will get the first access to our giveaways and you will get access to our free email courses which we create from time to time. And more importantly, we provide product offers and discounts only to our email subscribers. So click on the link here, join our newsletter and I will see you inside.